everyone back here at the After Chat at the 2300 Arena in Philadelphia, the Icons of Wrestling and Collectors Fest. And hey, look who I found! You've been imitating Somebody my voice. Talk about Bill After. Yeah, but you've been you've been imitating my voice. I've been trying to get on his show. Yeah, but for I'm years. Finally here. Yeah, but that's the big time. That's because you keep imitating my voice. Come on now. <laughs> Tommy Rich, welcome to the After Chat. Thank it is you. so great thank to you. see you. Bill, Mr. Bill, he's one of the greatest men in the world. Well, thank you. I, you know. I paid him very highly to say that. I, no, he didn't either. Hey, but he did put me on a lot of magazines. And oh, made me I got I to tell you something, and I told Tommy Rich this this morning. Look over. Wait, wait. Gary Michael Capetta, come here. How are you? Well, well doing an interview with Tommy Rich, would you uh, mind announcing him for a moment? From? From where? Come on. From Come Myrtle on. Beach now, of baby. Of course, Myrtle Beach. Okay, would you mind? Ladies and gentlemen, from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, he weighs a trim 225 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, none other than Wildfire Tommy Rich. <laughs> oh, Gary Michael Capetta, thank you. thank you. So now let's get back to business. So as I mentioned, that's... Anything can happen on the after chat. So, as I mentioned, one of the covers that we did, it was Inside Wrestling Magazine, when you turned against the fans, and we came up with a headline at the office, Tommy Rich, the fans can go to hell. And I called you, and you said... Well, if you think it'll be okay, go ahead and do it. And that sold almost more than more than any magazine in the history of the company. So now, right now, we're going to go into character. Tommy Rich, you have turned bad. The fans are very upset with you. Why have you done this? Because I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yeah. I don't know, because actually the whole reason I turned bad yeah. is because Jerry Lee Lawler was the king of Memphis. In order to be number one, you had to beat number one. So as a good guy, I couldn't beat him. But as a guy that didn't like nobody, I could come to town in Memphis and beat him. <laughs> we shaved his head in Memphis, Tennessee. I know that. I remember that. I remember that. But now today uh, that you're wrestling periodically and uh, you're at these great conventions, but there's something else going on with you. I smell it. Somebody got to call somebody. Tell them what this is. Look here. Says it all. Tommy Wildfire Rich School of Wrestling. Yeah, come to around. Myrtle Beach. See that. Come to Myrtle Beach. Uh, you know, Jerry the King Lawler, you live in Memphis, but the king of rock and roll said it the best. You got to follow that dream wherever that dream may lead you. Well, thanks to all of you fans across the country, Bill Abner and myself, we're still standing here. God bless y'all, because without y'all, neither one of us is here. Well, thank you. And, and for you kids out there, whether you want to be a manager, a referee, uh, lady wrestler, man, whatever. Come to Myrtle Beach and live your dream with me because I learned from the best. And we're at 568 Bishop Parkway in Myrtle Beach. You can contact cmarsh at dot com. Boy, spell that just to be safe. C-M-A-R-S-H at wrestler weekly.com. Okay. All right. So get in touch. You want to be in the wrestling business? He can teach you how. There's wildfire. Wildfire's running wild, brother. We on fire again. All Somebody right. say something about fired up and tune in. So for the after chat, this is Bill After. Tommy Rich, point out there if you would mind. We'll see you at the matches. And as Freddie Miller would say, don't miss it. Be, be there. there. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are on here with Alpha Female. One of the biggest stars around the world in female wrestling. Now, Bill Apter has wrote an amazing book. You can go to Amazon.com and get your copy there or go to your local bookstore and get your copy. But I'm going to ask you a question. I mean, I know you're a professional wrestler. You've wrestled all over the world. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Is wrestling fixed? Well, I, I didn't even know it was broken. Ladies and gentlemen, is wrestling fixed? I didn't know it was broken. Find it at your local bookstore or on Amazon.com. Thank you.